We are here at the Nadagul airstrip for the first demo flight of the prototype of Hyderabad based startup Blue Jay Aerospaces EVTOL. I am here with Amar and uh, Uttam, the co founders. Bujay was uh, basically formed with a vision for uh, simple and sustainable flying. And uh, we are looking at uh, reducing travel time for regional air transport by building long range vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. So, this aircraft will be powered by hydrogen electric propulsion for the kind of range and payload that we are targeting for. And what we have seen today is uh, basically the first ever uh, prototype that we have built, the full scale first prototype that we have built and successfully have flown. And this prototype is uh, most likely the largest ever aircraft that was ever built by a private company in India and have successfully flown. Right. Uh, so, I mean, uh, first of all, our beta is meant for long range, as you will see. So, it has elements both of, uh, if easy to understand, look at it, the combination of a helicopter and an airplane. Uh, you have all the propellers lifting it up uh, vertically and uh, taking it land, also, and making it land also in that same space, uh, confined space. That's all enabled through the propulsion system. So if you see, there are distributed propellers uh, where you need motors that have high specific uh, power density that enable that. Uh, you need the battery system or the hydrogen hybrid propulsion system, which is able to provide that high uh, specific uh, power to this whole aircraft. As well as, there's a lot of uh, controls uh, through our sensors set as well as the in-house uh, flight control software, which it enables these autonomous flights, uh, where it takes care of the complete stability and controls of the aircraft. And uh, all of this, again, uh, to, is enclosed in a uh, all composite airframe, which is one of the lightest uh, materials to use, and uh, for us, it's more than 85% of our aircraft is made up of that, uh, which makes us provide more payload and range to our customers. Yeah, so as a company, uh, we of course wanted to solve uh, transportation problems for long range and uh, we are developing uh, products for both cargo and passengers uh, and within cargo we are also developing products for high altitudes, mainly for engines and some civil applications as well. And we see the cargo variant of uh, the product which is Blue Jay Reach, uh, market entry for that is going to be 2026 uh, and uh, the other uh, variants will be have to see how the regulations pan out and uh, for the passenger or particular uh, Our target is at least like to come out in less than two years after the cargo will hit, but uh, that still have to be decided based on how things goes. So the uh, prototype that we currently flew is a tech demonstrator. The uh, uh, specs there primarily was to be able to carry a craft which is fine, which you lift it and control it uh, and fly it in visual line of sight where uh, all the autonomous flight segments are being carried out by that. Uh, the eventual commercial product will have 100 kg capability in payload and uh, have three, around 300 kilometers of range. Uh, and that will be fully autonomous uh, with remote pilot capability, but it can do autonomous things. So for the passenger, we are looking again at regional connectivity, uh, uh, long range, and uh, 67 passengers is, uh, is our estimate uh, for the aircraft currently. Will be able to share more details on the exact specifications of that uh, soon. It will be a piloted version for the passenger, although a lot of the autonomy, autonomous features that our cargo variant will have will be present. Uh, there will be a lot of capability for the craft to control itself, uh, putting less load on the pilot, but from based on regulations, how they stand today, we envisage that a pilot in our first version of the aircraft. Version. Yeah, we are targeting definitely more range, uh, at least twice as that. Uh, but 
like I said, uh, we'll have to do a POC for that as well and validate that. And then we'll be able to do share the sex fix that we have. So we raised the uh, seed capital of about 80 crores uh, from IDS Spin Capital, uh, the Meta Foundation by Zerubba and India Partners in our uh, seed round. And uh, we are uh, currently, of course, willing to raise our uh, next billion dollars as well. And in terms of production, our uh, target is uh, willing to get into a scale of manufacturing 500 of our reach aircraft uh, by 2028 uh, 29 time frame. So for that, uh, we will be, of course, uh, needing to raise much more uh, capital than what we are looking to raise now. Uh, for our next immediate raise, uh, we are targeting for uh, certification of reach and market entry. Uh, Bujay was uh, founded in 2022. Uh, uh, 2023, uh, mid is when we raised our first seed fund and uh, started expanding our team. That's when most of the team uh, was uh, hired and uh, that's where our progress on even the technology development accelerated. Uh, and uh, yeah, the other timeline I just said the uh, prototype uh, development of flight took place post that.